It's important to distinguish between the use of tax havens by corporations, as multinational corporations, and the use of tax havens by individuals. The recent developments that have uh, led to the rise of uh, cooperative tax jurisdictions through information exchange agreements and other means have mostly affected the use of tax havens by individuals for purposes of evasion. Um, they do not generally affect the use of uh, tax havens by corporations for purposes of tax planning. Uh, much of the economic uh, literature that has, that has emerged recently, both theoretical and empirical, on, and, and especially I think empirical, uh, on tax havens has focused on the use of tax havens by multinational firms. Um, and in that sense, I don't think that this, this new development will substantially affect the economic framework that is relevant to the analysis. Um, I have um, uh, just given my talk and I found I uh, was conversing with uh, uh, participants who are tax officials in their respective countries, uh, with PhD students who are working on precisely the same topic that I, that I was talking about. Um, and so I, I feel that this is providing uh, very valuable opportunities for networking among different groups of people who may not otherwise uh, mingle and meet, uh, including tax officials, PhD students, scholars, um, and various others. Uh, and it does so in an international setting um, that, I, that I think is really valuable for um, the progress of the field.